In this SkyCAD tutorial, you're going to learn about organizing terminal strips, bridging, connecting terminals to components, and more. If you haven't done so already, we recommend watching the Introduction to Terminals tutorial. For a project like this, we could expect a terminal list like this. I'm going to use Send to Explorer view so we can view the schematics and terminal list side by side. Let's also minimize the tree view and symbol library and zoom all on the schematics. Let's also hide the class name column so we can see the Y number column on the right hand side. Before working in the terminal list view, it's usually a good idea to make sure all the wires in your project are numbered by running a quick renumbering. When we select terminals in the terminal list view, they are highlighted on the schematics, provided that particular sheet is open. Now that we're all set, let's open the Terminal Strip Tools tab, which is the focus of this tutorial. As with many tabs in SkyCAD, the ribbon tools change based on what you have selected in the list. Selecting a single terminal from the list will give us this set of tools. Selecting multiple terminals will give us more tools. And when we select the entire terminal strip, we are given these tools to choose from. Selecting multiple terminals instead of the entire terminal strip allows access to many of the same tools, but the action will only be taken on the select terminals. To demonstrate some of the handy sorting tools, I'll apply them to the terminal strip as a whole, but remember they can be applied to only a selection of terminals too. These sorting tools are used to change the terminal numbers. Sort based on Y number will sort the list based on Y number, and thereby number the terminals in that order. We can sort based on exterior connected elements or sort based on interior connected elements. Terminals can also be grouped together by selecting the ones you want and choosing Group Terminals. As you probably know, you can also click and drag terminals to change the terminal number. But you can also select a terminal in the terminal list or schematics, go to the terminal strip tools tab and select move to position. Then enter the new position. For this tutorial, I'll stick with sort based on Y number. Now let's say we want to add a mechanical bridge, in other words jumper bars from terminals 1 to 4 and 5 to 7. To do this, select the terminals in the terminal list view and select add bridge. I'll do the same for terminals 5 to 7. A quicker way to bridge terminals is to select the terminal strip itself and choose bridge junctions with same Y number. Doing so have bridged these terminals and these. This tool takes advantage of the fact that terminals carrying the same Y number are usually bridged. This feature does not however bridge non-flow through terminals such as fuse terminals, where the Y numbers on either side of the terminal are different. These must be bridged manually. In reality, if these three terminals are bridged with a jumper bar, we would only need to bring one wire from FU4 to the set of fuse terminals. So I'll remove the other two unnecessary wires by selecting the cells and choosing Disconnect. If there are any terminals which are bridged that you don't want bridged, select them and choose Remove Bridge. Though I do want these bridged, so I'll bridge them again. In the Introduction to Terminals tutorial, we briefly discussed the connected exterior side and connected interior side columns. In these columns, you'll see the component pin the terminal is connected to, such as Relay R1, pin number 2, on the exterior side, and Digital Input Module 1, input 0, on the interior side. 
SkyCAD automatically enters this information based on how you've assigned locations to your components. If you don't want SkyCAD to do this, you can turn this feature off by selecting the terminal strip and turning off Filter by Locations. More about this in the Distribution Terminals tutorial. I'll turn it back on for the purpose of this tutorial though. Other times you may see information in brackets such as these. This represents information that needs clarification if you wish to have fully detailed terminal strip layouts. If you'd prefer, you could simply hide all the information in brackets by selecting the terminal strip and turning off Show Unresolved Connectivity Info. But if you want to have a fully detailed terminal strip layout, you'll want to keep Show Unresolved Connectivity turned on. And you'll want to know what the information in brackets means so you can resolve them. Firstly, you may see a component pin in brackets, such as these. Let's zoom to that part of the drawing for reference. And let's start with these. Remember that these three terminals are bridged with a jumper bar, meaning that we need only take one wire from the fuse holder FU3 to one of the terminals. What the terminal list is telling us here is that any of these three terminals can be wired to FU3 pin number 2, but that only one needs to be wired to it. You can decide which terminal the wire will connect to by selecting the cell with the component pin in brackets and choosing Connect. You can connect more than one if you like by selecting a blank cell and choosing Connect. To disconnect it, choose Disconnect. The terminal strip layout is automatically updated and now accurately reflects exactly how these three terminals will be wired. We have a similar case with these four terminals. They are bridged, so which one will be wired to T1-4? I think I'll choose the ground terminal. To take a step back, you can select Disconnect to make a different choice. When you have TBD shown, which stands for To Be Defined, it means there are multiple possibilities for what could be wired to the terminal. Select the cell and choose Connect. A window pops up showing us all the component pins that carry the same wire number. Selecting them shows us a preview. We can even zoom and pan within the preview. Make your selection and click OK. Let's do it one more time. For terminal 14, what is wired to the interior side? Connect. I'd like this terminal wired to CB2. Now you could do this for every cell with brackets yourself, or you could let SkyCAD take an educated guess and do it for you. To do this, make a selection of terminals, or select the entire terminal strip, and choose Resolve Connectivity. SkyCAD will do its best to estimate how your terminals should be wired, and it will resolve all the TBDs and component pins in brackets. You may want to check if you prefer something different to what SkyCAD has chosen. If you would like to change one of the results, remember that you can select the cell and choose Disconnect to take a step back, then use Connect to make the choice yourself. Looking at our terminal strip layout again, it now looks more detailed and complete. If a cell is blank in the terminal list, it means that nothing is connected on that side of the terminal, and it is shown as such in the terminal strip layout. If you'd prefer, you could select the terminal strip and choose Show NC for Not Connected. And it will reflect this on the terminal strip layout. The interior and exterior sides of the terminal strip can be swapped left and right by selecting Flip Terminal Strip. In some cases, the ideas of exterior side and interior side may not apply. For example here, where these fuse terminals are not connected to anything in the field, so they don't really have a connected exterior side per se. In the terminal strip layout, the 
The pilot lights are shown to be connected on the left side of the terminal strip, but you may want them on the right hand side. To do this, select the terminals in the terminal list view, go to the terminal strip tools tab and choose flip terminal. Because we flipped the terminals, there are now some connectivity options shown in brackets. So let's use resolve connectivity once again. Now let's do a quick example to bring this all together. I'll close this project and open a similar one with a disorganized terminal strip as if we had just inserted the terminals onto the schematics. First I'll open the terminal list view. Then I'll sort based on Y number. Bridge all terminals with the same Y number. Resolve connectivity. Add accessories such as end stops and separators. And voila! That's how easy it should be to define your terminal strip. In conclusion to this tutorial, we invite you to view the other tutorials dealing with terminals. Introduction to terminals. Stack terminals. Terminal strip layouts on the schematics and backplate layouts. And distribution terminals, which are customized for power distribution.